check out these pictures. Which one of these is the most attractive and draws your attention? Well, if you're like me, then the second picture is infinitely better than the first one. Now, there is nothing wrong with the first design, but if you want to maximize your Amazon affiliate earnings or improve your click-through rate, then you should always go with a professional-looking product box. So, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can create this beautiful-looking product box in WordPress with no code, no plugin, and no Elementor whatsoever. Let's get into it. Alright, now I'm in the Gutenberg editor. Let's start by adding the group block. So I'm going to place the cursor here, type slash group, and inside the group block, let's select this layout, and I will add the columns block. Let's select 50-50, don't worry, you can change the distribution of the column later if you want to, but let's start with 50-50. Okay, on the first column, I'm going to add the image block. So let's pick a picture from my media library. You can also upload a picture from your computer. I'm going to select this picture. Okay, this looks great. And on the right hand side of the screen, I will select the aspect ratio to be square. So let's say if I want to upload an image with 16 by 9 aspect ratio, it will be automatically converted to square, which is exactly what I want. After that, let's go to styles and I'm going to add the border radius to be 10 pixel, so the image will have this rounded corner. All right, I think we are done with the first column. Next, let's move on to the second column. I'm going to add a heading block here. This heading block is going to be the product name or the product title. Let's call it Bluetooth headphones. Maybe this is a bit too big, so I'm going to change the font and also the font size. Let's change the font to Inter, and for the font size, it's going to be 1.6 rem. Alright, the next thing to do is to add a bullet point or paragraph for the product description. So I'm going to add another block after this title. Here you can insert a list block or just insert a regular paragraph. I'm going to just copy and paste paragraph that I have prepared before. Okay, I have this paragraph. I'm going to make it a bit smaller. And after that, let's add the button, which is probably the most important thing about the product box. Let's type slash buttons. I'm going to label this button to be C on Amazon with an arrow. On the right hand side of the screen again, you can adjust the width setting to be 100% or 50%. If you want to have two buttons, you probably want to select 50%, but in this example, I'm going to just using one button. So I'm going to set it to 100%. And after that, I'm going to change the color of this button. Let's change the background to yellow. I have this color code that I have prepared. Okay, and for the text, it's going to be black. Okay, it's looking great. Now the product box is basically ready, but I want to change the distribution of the column to be 40% and 60%. So let's open document overview and I'm going to expand the group block. And there are two columns here, the first column and the second column. Let's change the first column to be 40%, but don't forget to change the parameter here to be percentage 40. And the other one is naturally going to be 60%. All right, it's looking great. But if you still remember my previous example, there is a yellowish background on this product box, and I'm going to apply the setting to this box as well. Let's click on the group block, and then go to styles, click on the background, and click the color you want. I'm going to just copy and paste the color code I have prepared before. So. It's looking great, but you might have noticed that this content is a bit too close to the edge. We have to add some padding on the group block so the border is not overly close with the content. Just go to styles and scroll down on the padding. I'm going to change the padding level to be 1.3M. And also for this padding, 1.3M. Alright, 
it looks a lot better now. And for the final touch, I'm going to add a border radius to this group block. So let's scroll down again, and I'm going to add both radius to be 14 pixel. And there you go. But let's see what it's going to look like on a mobile device. If you go to here and click mobile, you will see that it is responsive, it is mobile friendly, so you don't have to worry if your visitor are going to see the content on their smaller screen. This design is just a proof of concept and you can always modify it to your liking. For example, you can change the color, you can add border, you can also add more button in case you have two CTAs in your product box. There are plenty of customization available, so it is up to you on what design you should choose on your website. But you might be asking, how do you actually use this on a blog post? Let's say your article has 10, 20, 30 products. How do you actually use this design on each of those products? Well, you have to use WordPress features called patterns or reusable block. Basically, this feature allows you to save this design to your website and then you can reuse it later on future articles. So if you want to learn more about that, check out this video and I'll see you there.